tell me who's here so I can say hello. <laughs> and welcome to the, we're in the thaw now. The deep freeze is thawing. So we've got sun and nice weather today. It's not as windy. So I hope everybody's doing well. Give us a shout out when you're there. Oh, Mary, you're back on. Great. Great. So good to have you back. And Steve, did you survive, Steve? <laughs> Do you have uh, water now? And I hope. And Carla's on from Ohio. Good. Good, good. Glad to have everybody. So it's been, a, it's been an interesting week for those of us in Texas, especially uh, here in Austin and Houston. Good. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Steve. Well, yes, <laughs> there were a lot, a lot of people. We lucked out. We did not have any burst pipes, and um, we had power and heat the whole time, but then we lost our water for several days. And we had my son and his girlfriend staying with us because they had no power. So yes, Roger, good. So glad you're, you're back. Yes, I know. It was pretty, pretty bad. Oh, good, yes. I, I hear you, Steve. We had, we had neighbors who were checking in with each other, and uh, I've heard of lots of stories of people helping with burst pipes and um, bringing, you know, extra food and all of those things. Hello, Dan and Linda. Yes. <laughs> good. Good to hear that, because I know it's been pretty cold up in Canada. So we have friends and relatives who live in Montreal and other friends who have a house, um, I think outside of Ottawa. So, and a relative in Winnipeg. So we, <laughs> we, we're quite familiar with what's going on in Canada. So, so while we're getting ready, hi, Joan. Glad to have you back. Oh, I know. I heard, yes, I heard a lot about Oregon. Kind of tough. Glad, glad to have you back. I'm glad you've got power back again. And I hope you didn't lose water like we did. Um, but we're, we're making it through. So I am going to remind you all about the prop for today. The prop is a tennis ball, or you can use a, like a spalding ball, um, like a racket ball if you don't have a tennis ball, something this size, preferably fairly firm. Um, if all else fails, you can use a, uh, a rolled up pair of socks. And then toward the end, um, if you happen to have one of our fantastic, wonderful, Power for Parkinson's exercise balls, you can bring that out as well um, because I'm gonna show you a couple of massage techniques that you can do with this. Hi, Norman. <laughs> Good to have you. Good to have you. So, but right now we're gonna, we're gonna be using this primarily and at the end of class, we'll be using both and I'll show you some things that we can do. So the, this is the prop for today. If you have one of these or another exercise ball about this size, that would be great. I'll put them over here. Okay. 
So give us a shout out and let us know how how everyone is. Um, we're we're definitely getting getting back to normal here. So, um, and we would like everybody to try to get on and join us if they can. I know some people have been without power, without heat, without internet, um, and without water for a number of days. It was not fun, but we are coming back to normal slowly. So, oh, you're, Jamie, yes, from Worcester. Worcester, yes, I, I know Worcester because my younger son went to Clark. So I have been to Worcester and I love it. <laughs> so, hope you're all doing well. And we, we are gonna start in just a few minutes. So give us a shout out. Remember today's prop is a tennis ball or a spalding ball, something firm. But if all else fails, hi, Marianne from New York. Yes, where I hear it is snowing. <laughs> Good to have you back on there something fairly firm because we're going to be holding it and then at the end hi sharon good to have you back and we're going to also do some massage techniques today it's the last week in february and so i figured i would give you some uh treats at the end of class <laughs> as in massage techniques that you can use um, we all need a little TLC right now. So once it hits one o'clock, I'm going to just remind you about a few things, but please do gather the ball. And if you have one of our blue exercise balls, the blue exercise ball, or um, any other exercise ball that's about that size, you can bring that on for the end of class. So, oh, Ludmilla, you're here. <laughs> good, 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 good. So, and I think uh, New Orleans seems to have fared pretty well. Okay, thank you, Nina. And Nadine is gonna be taking over the chat now for us. And Eugene is back on, thank you. Thanks for coming on. I'm so glad to have all of you. And I know we're gonna get a few more. So, all right. And that should be Nadine, I think. <laughs> yes. Good to have everybody. The sun is coming through the windows and it's feeling fairly warm. Yes. Good, good. Hi, Nadine. <laughs> Glad to have you on. Nadine joins me every Thursday for the Rhythm and Moves class. If you haven't joined us for that, um, it's a wonderful, fun class. And right now we're pretending that we're Fred Astaire, <laughs> among other things. So we're having a good time. We're having a good time. So while everyone is getting on, I'm going to remind you one more time about the props. So we are going to use a tennis ball today if you don't have a tennis ball or a racket ball or some sort of ball about this size that's fairly firm, you can use a pair of rolled up socks, preferably a big pair of socks that when it's rolled up tightly, you can, you can squeeze it and it won't just become like a little thin pair of socks. Um, those of you that have, hi, Helen, good. 
Good to have you back from Round Rock, yes. Um, if some of you have this kind of a ball, one of our wonderful Power for Parkinson's exercise balls, or something this size, we're going to use this as well as this at the end of class. I'm going to give you some uh, nice, hi Heidi, we're gonna give you some uh, massage techniques as well. So. Now, I do want to remind you all that, that, oh my, <laughs> I just read that, Sharon, oh goodness. I do want to remind you all that, that um, this Sunday, we are having our eighth annual birthday bash. We were going to have it yesterday, but there have been so many problems here in Austin with uh, no power, no heat, no internet, um, no water, <laughs> uh, no groceries for lots of us, in fact, for all, pretty much all of us um, who are working here, that we decided that um, it would be smart to go ahead and postpone it a week. So our eighth annual birthday bash is coming up this coming Sunday, February 28th, and it will be at one o'clock central time on Zoom please do join us. It is free. It will give you an idea of how this organization grew from a tiny little organization with a couple of classes into what it is today. Um, there, there will be a lot of interesting um, presentations as well as uh, some pictures and video recaps from previous birthday bashes. And in addition to that, we will have some live exercise uh, fun and even a little dancing fun um, and people speaking and sharing, and it's just gonna be a wonderful time. So please don't miss it. Please, if you have not been on Zoom yet, please try to get on. It's on Zoom, the link will be sent out um, so that you can get on it easily. And it will be this Sunday, February 28th at one o'clock central time, central time. And that's our eighth birthday. So we, we're going strong and getting bigger and better all the time. So let's go ahead and get started. Yes, thank you, Nadine. Yes, please invite friends and family members. Uh, we always do that when, when we do it in person, we have friends and family members who come. Hi, Barbie. So it's wonderful to, to encourage them to come on as well because then they can see what we're doing. Let's get started. Maestro's in the back, setting up the music. So sit forward in your chairs. Make sure that your toes are straight ahead, your knees are lined up with your toes, and knees line up with your hip sockets right here. Not the outsides, but the sockets. Your shoulders are over your hips. Your back is a few inches away from the back of the chair. Your chin is resting on an imaginary shelf so that it doesn't drop or lift or push forward. Relax your hands onto your thighs. Feel the chair coming up underneath you and supporting you and lifting your spine. Maestro, can you make that just a little bit softer? That's good. Now press against your thighs and see if you can grow in your spine with a minimum amount of tension, just another quarter of an inch. Stay there, relax hands and wrists, relax forearms and elbows, relax upper arms and shoulders. 
Soften your neck muscles. Poop your cheeks out. Suck them in. Poof them out again. Relax, wiggle your jaw a little bit. Wiggle your tongue around in your mouth. Wrinkle up your nose. Relax it, lift your eyebrows up and down, up and down, up and down. Squeeze your whole face together. Open it out wide, open mouth and eyes. And shake it up. Okay, we woke up our face and hopefully our whole body. Let's begin our counted breathing. We're going to breathe in for four counts through our nose and out for four counts through our mouths. Remember, this is one inhale on four counts and one exhale on four counts. Nice and smooth. Ready to begin sitting very tall. Breathing in through the nose. One, two, three, four. Out through the mouth. One, two, three, four. In through your nose. One, two, three, four. Out through your mouth. One, two, three, four. Relax and breathe normally. Wiggle your toes inside of your shoes and relax your toes and feet. Wiggle your fingers and thumbs and your hands a little bit and relax them. Bring your shoulders up towards your ears and as you drop them, feel your spine lifting again. Soft shoulders and neck muscles. Let's increase the counts now. We'll breathe in for five counts and out for five counts breathing in and out only through our nose. Ready to begin. Breathing in, one, two, three, four, five, out through the nose, one, two, three, four, five, in through the nose, one, two, three, four, five, out through the nose, one, two, three, four, five. Relax and breathe normally again. Wiggle your shoulders back and forth a little bit. Good. Place your hands on your chest. Now we're gonna pretend that we have a small balloon deflated inside of our chest, but the chest is three-dimensional. So front, sides, and our rib cage, and our back. So all of that, that whole rib cage with the balloon inside is going to expand and then relax. And expand and relax. I'm going to concentrate on this part right now. So hands here, or if you want to put the backs of your hands on the sides of your ribs, or if you're really brave, you can reach back here to your lower ribs. I like to put my hands here. Sit up nice and tall and begin breathing in. Fill the balloon, feel it coming into the front of your chest. Now into the sides of your chest and your ribs on the sides. And breathe in even more, take more air in as you fill up your back, upper back and middle back. Hold it and open your mouth and let the air out. Oh, deflate that balloon. Relax and breathe normally. Keep those muscles nice and soft. Now we're gonna take the deflated balloon and we're gonna put it in our belly, hands here. Same thing, as we breathe in, the air is gonna come down and inflate the balloon to the front into our hands sides of our waist, lower back, the whole pelvic area is gonna fill with air. This time we're gonna hold it and then we're gonna let the air out with that hiss, tongue toward the roof of your mouth, contracting the belly muscles at the end, but keeping the rib cage and the chest lifted and soft. Ready to begin, breathing in. 
Suck that air down, begin to inflate the balloon. Feel it inflating into your hands, into the sides of your waist, into your lower back. Take more air in, fill up the whole pelvic area and hold it and deflate the balloon slowly with the hiss. Keep that hiss going. Begin to contract those belly muscles. Keep the chest lifted and soft. And relax and breathe normally. Relax your hands onto your thighs. Wiggle your toes inside of your shoes. Lift them up and spread them wide. Keep them up. Feel the balls of your feet against the floor. Wiggle those fingers and thumbs and then lift them up. Toes are up, fingers are up. Drop the toes, relax those feet. Drop the fingers, relax the hands. Lift the right shoulder and drop. Left shoulder and drop. Right shoulder and drop. Left shoulder and drop. Relax the arms down for our little sun salutation. Big breath in. Our wings float up, hands come together, exhale, thumbs at your breastbone, relax shoulders and elbows. Breathe in here, breathe out, reaching up, opening the hands, feeling tall here. The rib cage should feel good now. Big breath in and breathe out, reaching forward and down, touch toes or ankles or maybe shins or knees. Big breath in, coming up, and breathe out. Relax shoulders and elbows. One more time, faster. Big breath in, and out. So now your whole torso is filling with air and releasing air. Breathe in, lower, middle, and upper. Breathe out. The air comes out as you lengthen and open. Breathe in. Breathe out, see if you can go a little further and let your head round over. Breathe in, reach all the way up as high as you can. Breathe out, relax those shoulders and elbows, good. Push your fingers forward. Right away today, we're going to do our contraction and expansion, so cross your thumbs. Push your arms forward, spread the skin between your shoulder blades. Now scoop your pelvis under, Scoop under, tuck the belly, soften the chest, drop your chin and breathe out. This is our C curve from tailbone to top of head. Letter C, exhale, contract. Now breathe in, lift the pelvis, lift the spine, open the hands, open the arms, reach behind you, squeeze your shoulder blades in. Breathe out here, breathe in again, Breathe out, contract, round the back, make that C curve, drop your chin, pull your belly in. Breathe in, letter I as you lift and lengthen and squeeze your shoulder blades. Breathe out, contract, letter C. Breathe in, letter I, but expanding. Breathe out, contract, Breathe in, expand, expand that chest, relax the arms down. Wiggle those shoulders up and down, back and forth, rolling the shoulders. Up, push back and down, up, push back and down. One more, up, push back and down, good. Rotating from the shoulder sockets, the hands come to the front, the thumbs are actually starting to reach toward the back. Inside elbows come front. Even your armpit wants to come to the front and look to your screen. Rotate to the back. Rotate to the front. Rotate to the back. You're still sitting tall. Rotate to the front. Rotate to the back. Open a little wider. Same thing. Rotate and rotate and rotate and rotate. Oil up those shoulder sockets. Rotate. Open all the way up, hands even with the shoulders, rotate to the back, hands and inside elbows look to the ceiling, 
rotate to the back, look to the ceiling. Now float the arms all the way up, cross your thumbs here. Easy in the shoulders and neck. You don't have to have perfectly straight arms, but you do need a tall spine. So lift from the top of your head and then draw that pencil line with your pencil point, lengthening the side ribs and your spine with each stroke. Come back to center, open the arms, bend the elbows, good. Push the wall forward, bend the wrist, drop fingers down and up, down and up, down and up, pull back. Push to the sides, walls are pushing out. Drop the fingers down and up, really bend those wrists, down and up, down and up, pull in. Halfway forward, cross your thumbs, fingers together, wrap your fingers around your thumbs. Now you've made fists and you're going to stir. And I want you to stir, you've got two giant pots of soup and you're stirring. Maybe it's chicken noodle, maybe it's split pea, maybe it's lentil, maybe it's cream of leek, reverse that stir. Yes, I hope you had lunch, <laughs> but if you didn't, I'm making you hungry. <laughs> okay, move those wrists around, wiggle the fingers. All right, and to the right, and to the left. And now I like to think of this as our melting icicles. Drip, drip, drip from every corner of the roof. Drip, 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 drip. Come center, swing that left arm back, right arm forward and swing and swing. So now the arms are loose and stretchy and the energy is flowing from your shoulders all the way down your arms, through your hands, out your fingertips like laser beams. Turn that head, superheroes. Toward your back hand each time. Good, relax. Now, take the right foot forward, left arm forward. And change, left foot forward, right arm forward. And change, look to the back hand and change. So the arms are the same. We're just getting the opposite leg forward. Reach the opposite leg with the arm. Turn your head. Try to concentrate on that opposition because it's really important for your brain. The right side of the brain is talking to the left side of the brain and that's very important. Two more. This one and this one, good. Laughing shoulders. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, Maestro, let's speed it up a little bit. Open toes, heels, toes, heels, toes. Ankles underneath your knees. Hands inside your thighs. Breathe here, sit tall. Press open, release. Open, release. Open, release. Open and stay, shoulders down. Breathe in, exhale, tilt forward. Good, press those legs open. Push your feet down into the floor. Sit tall, relax your arms. Wiggle your shoulders up and down again. Now reach across and place. Across and place. Across and place. Across and place. Across with a circle and across with a circle. Across with a circle, across with a circle, good. Now we're gonna take the right arm, we're gonna reach down, then we're going to take the back of the chair. Stay there, rotate your chest and shoulders and look to the left, breathe. Come back to center, let's do it again. Rotate chest, shoulders and head to the left. Come back to center, sit tall, shoulders up and drop, up and drop. Left hand, reach down. Right hand takes a hold of the back of the chair. Rotating toward the right, chest, shoulders and head. 
back to center one more time. Chest, shoulders, and head. Breathe here. And come back to center. Good. Arms float up, cross down, up and open. Up, cross down and open. Down, cross up and open. Up, cross down and open. Stay here. Wiggle that rib cage from side to side. Try to touch the wall. Try to touch somebody. Try to touch your furniture. <laughs> Anything you can touch and come down. Good, toes and heels and toes and heels come back in. Wiggle it out. Let's get the tennis ball. So we're gonna take the tennis ball or the spalding ball or your thick pair of socks rolled up. Put it in your hands. Open your hands a little bit so you're pressing with the palms of your hands, but keep your fingers relaxed and just roll it. You're sitting tall here. So you're massaging the palms of your hands and your fingers. Slow it down. Speed it up. Find a tempo that's right for you. Now reach forward, keep rolling. Come center. Reach up a little bit and down. Open the legs slightly, reach all the way down and up. Reach forward. Come back to center, reach up. Come back to center, open the legs a little bit, reach down as far as you can, and up one more time, reach forward. Come center, reach up and down. Open the legs a little bit, reach all the way down, and come up, sitting tall. Take the ball into your right hand and reach out to the right. Left hand goes across, grabs the ball, and it goes up and over. So this is like the day. So we have sunrise, sunset. Now we're gonna reach across, grab the ball with the right hand, and go up and over. Again, left hand comes across, reach the ball up and over right hand grabs the ball up and over now we're going to take our eyes following the ball so grab it with the left hand go up and over reach across and grab up and over reach across up and over Reach across, last one. Reach up and over. Relax, roll your shoulders up, push way back and down. Up, push way back and down. Good, wiggle them out a little bit. Circling the right arm, so left hand is on the thigh. Circle and circle. This is gonna be different for each person. Circle, change hands. Go forward, up, and around. Always try to go forward, up, and around. Forward, up, and around. Why are we doing it that direction? Why are we rolling our shoulders in this direction? Because that opens our chest. If we go the other way, it reinforces that rounding and shortening of these muscles and contracting. So we're always opening up. We're gonna do it again in the right hand. This time we're gonna go a little slower, still three times. Eyes follow the ball. Forward, up, and around. So you're looking behind you. Forward, up, and behind you. One more. Forward, up, and behind you. Change hands. Forward, eyes follow the ball. You get a nice big stretch up and behind you. Rich, we got a delivery. And forward, up and behind you. Good. All right.
right. That should, you should have felt that maybe in your neck. So let's tilt our head right and center, left and center, right and center, left and center. Maestro is going to need to go. That's okay. We've got a special delivery <laughs> coming to our front door. So wiggle your head from side to side. Drop your chin down and up. Look up and center. Drop down and up. Look up and center. Yes. And you just put it in the, in the music room. Okay, so take the ball in your right hand. We're going back to the opposition work that we've been doing. We're gonna throw the ball, but not really. So you're gonna throw, 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 throw. Switch hands. Throw, throw. That means you're gonna have to reach behind yourself a little bit. Throw. One more time. Throw, throw, switch hands. Throw, throw, switch hands. Throw, switch hands. Throw, switch hands. Throw, grab it. Throw, grab it. Throw, grab it. Throw, grab it. Okay, here comes the opposition. This leg, this arm. Reach for the, to the toe or the foot. Throw, same leg. Throw, throw, throw. Push the bottom of that foot towards your screen. Other side, throw, 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 throw. All right, let's do two on each side. Throw, throw, keep pushing the bottom of your foot. Throw, throw, all right, alternating. Here we go, throw. Opposite arm as leg. Throw, 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 throw. Woo! Reach all the way up. Try to put your ball on the ceiling. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Tilt. Stretch those side ribs again. Good. Come back to center. Come down. All right, open your legs a little bit. Right leg is here, left leg is out on a diagonal on the heel. Take the ball in your right hand. Now the left hand is resting on your thigh, but don't put it on your knee. We don't want any pressure pushing down on that knee. In fact, you can even micro bend the knee, but you wanna try to get a stretch through these ab abductor muscles here and also the back, that hamstring and the back of your knee. So you're gonna take the right arm and swing it up and over, big curve toward the left foot and down. Curve and down. Curve and down. Switch hands, stay here. Curve, so that's a different feeling with that leg out. Curve, one more. Curve, open. Bring the left leg in and the right leg out. Same thing to the other side. Start with the left arm. Big arc, go over that rainbow and back down. Big arc, over the rainbow and down, easy on the thigh, over and down, switch hands, right arm, over, big stretch here, and out, big arcing, over the rainbow, and down, one more, over and down, bring it in, all right, take the ball, Reach forward, reach up, reach right, reach left, reach down. Swing that ball behind you with one hand, behind you with the other, behind you with one hand, try to hit your back. 
Good. Reach forward. Reach up. Reach right. Reach left. Go down and up. Swing behind you and behind you and behind you and behind you. One more time, the whole thing. Forward and way up and over to the right, over to the left, all the way down. Sit tall. Swing behind you and behind you and behind you and behind you. Woo! And take a breath. Exhale. All right, wiggle your feet in. Wiggle heels back and forth. Little pivot. Come back to center. Lift the toes, right and left. You'll move your knees. Stay tall in your spine. Hold your chair if you need to. Good, very nice. Hold the ball in front of you. Lift the knee up toward the ball. Up, up, up. Switch hands. Up, 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 up. It won't touch, but you can try. Up, up, up. Switch. Up, 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 up. Good. Now let's relieve those hip flexors. Up and open, up and in. 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 And for those of you who are taking my Thursday class, hold your chair. Open, up, close. Open, stretch that leg. Close. A little preparation for fan kick. That's it, good. Let's march. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch hands. One, two, three. The ball is in your hand. Six, seven. Switch hands. One, two, three. 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 Switch hands. And one, two, three. Switch hands. And open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. On top of your head if you can get it there. And open, close, open, close, and open, close. Open, close, and open, close. Open, close, and open, close. Open, close, and rest. Breathe. Woo! All right. Place the ball on the back of your hand. Spread your fingers very wide. What I like to do is to put the ball either between my pointer finger and my middle finger here, or between my middle finger and my ring finger. Keep those fingers open wide. See if you can balance. Balance. Good. Switch hands. Balance the ball. And switch hands. Spread those fingers wide. Now see if you can reach very smoothly forward. Oops. And back. And again, forward. You can do this at home. And back. Switch sides. Reach forward and back and reach forward and back and grab it. Okay, so that's a little trick for those tremors is to walk with a ball on the back of your hand like this and see if it stays there. Yes? If it falls, remember in my class you get 10 points. So, okay, it's in your right hand, now it's in your left. A little toss, 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 
toss, get a little rhythm going. Eyes on the ball every time. Little rhythm going. Good, all right, take it in your right hand. Go underneath your right leg and lift. Go underneath your left leg, grab it and lift. Go underneath, switch hands and lift. Go underneath, switch hands and lift. And under and lift. Under and lift. Under and lift. Under and lift. Let's point our toes. Under and lift. Under and lift. Under and lift. Under and lift. Stretch way up again. Good. And release down. All right. Put the ball to the side for right now. And wiggle forward in your chair. We're going to stand up, so pull your ankles behind your knees. Toes are still straight ahead. I want you to think about pushing down into the floor as much as possible with your feet and your legs. Use your hands if you need to. Four rocks, the first three, we get our tush, our derriere, halfway off the chair. The fourth one, we're going to stand. Ready, and push, come halfway up and down. Push, really use the floor. Push, and this is the fourth one. Push down in those legs. Now lift the chest and spine, clear focus. Push down in your feet. Breathe here. When you've got your bearings, we can begin. Good, if you need to sit back down, that's fine. Bend your knees slightly. Clap, 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 clap. Stomp and clap. Going around to the back of your chair. Hold your chair if you need to. We're gonna hold the chair. You will be behind your chair this way. I'll be out to the side this way so you can see my feet. March, 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 march. Open, 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 in, 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 open, open, wider, wider, in, in, right underneath your hips. Bend and stretch. Lift your heels and lower. Bend and stretch. Lift your heels and lower. Bend, stretch, lift, lower. Bend, stretch, lift. You're still holding your chair. Bend, stretch, lift, lower. Bend, stretch, lift, lower. Open wider. Now we're gonna do the squats. It will look like this from the side. Yes, feet are even. This is gonna go out this time, not what we've been doing, which was this. We're gonna go this way. Notice my flat back. Sit bones are going in that direction. And then as we stand up, shoulders come right over the hips. Here we go. Squat and lift. It helps to pull your bellies in. Squat and lift. Are you still breathing? Squat and lift. Squat and lift. Good. Bring your feet in. Back to the parallel position. Lift just the heel and put it down. Lift the heel and put it down. Try to spread your toes wide. Heel, heel, heel. Now heel, push up. One heel comes down. Push up, the other heel comes down. Push up and down. So one heel goes down, and when that heel goes down, the other knee bends. Bend, bend, try to keep those hips from wiggling around. Spread those toes. 
Good job. All right, shake your foot, shake your other foot. Turn your feet out slightly so you're behind the chair here. Bend, shift, bend, shift, bend, shift, bend, shift, bend, shift, and shift, and shift. Start tap, 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 tap. Tap the foot, tap the foot, tap the foot, reach the arm. Tap and reach. Good. Stay here. Straight. Bring your feet in just a little bit. Now we're going to lift the right leg and the left arm at the same time. One, two, we're doing opposition. Three, four. Let's do it again. Right leg, left leg, opposite arm. Rest. Let's do it with a bent knee this time. Right leg, left arm. And switch. 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 Four more of these. Four, three, two, one, good job. Step out, step out. Bend your knees. Shift right, still bent knee here. On center, shift left. Slightly different shift than what we were doing before. Bend, straighten one leg. Bend, straighten one leg. Pelvis stays on a line. Feel it in your thighs. Come back to center and straighten. Good. Wiggle in just a little bit. Now, put that foot pointed onto the floor. Take this arm, go up, over. Nice side stretch again. Come down. Take the other arm. We did this sitting, this is slightly different standing. Good, bring it in, reach over the chair with the right arm, over the chair with the left arm, reach, reach, good. Left leg, the ball of the foot or the toes or on, or on the floor. That arm goes up and over, big side stretch here. And down, other arm, feel that side stretch. First side again, big side stretches. Good, bring the leg in, and again, reach, reach, reach. Reach. Did you get it? an ice cream cone? I hope so. <laughs> Grab that ice cream cone. Grab that ice cream cone. One more. Okay. Open wide. Bend your knees a tiny bit and straighten. A tiny bit more and straighten. A little more and straighten. Bend as much as you can. Pull your skinny jeans on all the way up. Zip your magic zipper. Flatten your toothpaste tube from your tailbone all the way up. It's coming out the top of the head right in the center. Everybody's growing an inch. Keep flattening that tube and squirting the toothpaste all over the ceiling. Let go with one or both hands. Wipe the toothpaste off the ceiling. Open wide. Show me your jazz hands. Now test your balance. Tilt, 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 tilt. I hope you're smiling. Tilt, tilt. Come to here. Give yourself a hug. Relax your arms down. 
Stay here, push down in your feet. Unfold your arms all the way down. Grab your chair. Bend your knees, toes and heels come in. Wiggle those hips from side to side. Walk around to the front of your chair. Feel the chair with the backs of your thighs. Do the squat again. Reach with your hands and come down. Now, this is where we're gonna need the ball again. I'm also gonna bring a different chair here so that I can show you, demonstrate a couple of things. So let's start with the tennis ball again. Let's take it in our left hand, right arm is out, and then relax the arm down. So you can keep it out to the side here, or you can keep it up with the elbow bent. Either way, take the ball, place it right near your armpit, and that little indentation that comes here, and we're gonna roll the ball around this muscle area. And do it here or here. Press into that muscle. So your pectoral muscles. So it's this whole area in front of your armpit, between your armpit and your shoulder blade. Just dig in there and relax. Roll your shoulders up, push back and down, up, push back and down. Switch sides. So again, you can have this as relaxed, up or down, whatever feels good to you. Take it in this hand, place it in that same place, that little indentation between your shoulder, armpit, not too high but not down low. Begin to press and roll. Rolling those pectoral muscles. Either way, dig in there. Try to soften that muscle. Keep breathing as you're doing this. Soften that muscle and rest. Roll your shoulders up, push back and down, up, push back and down. Trying to relax those muscles that we've opened today, give them, giving them even more relaxation when they feel tight. Take the ball. We're going to roll it on the thigh. So you're going to roll it back and forth on the thigh. If you want more pressure, Push down with both hands, rolling back and forth. Don't go all the way to your knee. It's the thick part of the muscle of the quadricep that you want to massage. So you're gonna roll back and forth and push down in that muscle. a good one to do all of these when you're watching TV <laughs> and sitting in a chair. Switch sides. So for those of us who've been out in the frigid cold weather when our muscles like to really tighten up, it's really good to, after we've warmed up a little bit, Get in and massage those muscles and get them even warmer and softer. The muscle fibers will thank you. <laughs> They'll be very happy. Good. All right. Now, we can also do this at the back of the leg underneath the hamstring. So I'm going to turn slightly this way and show you. You'll want to scoot back in your chair a little bit. Put the ball under your hamstring. Relax your leg. See where the ball is? Relax your leg. Again, here's the ball. Relax the leg down. 
Now, it's in the center of the back of my hamstring, the center of my hamstring, and my leg is just hanging there. I'm gonna let it sit here. I might give a gentle pressure down onto the ball with my hands on top of my thigh, or if I'm really in need of digging in there, I might shift forward and back slightly in my chair to just move the muscle fibers. Always going into the belly of the muscle, that thick center of the muscle. Okay, and we can try it to the other side. So turn yourself slightly, make sure you're somewhat back in your chair with the ball under the thigh, right here. Relax the leg on top. Now you can stay here. You can place your hands here for a little more weight and pressure and just sit there. Or you can slightly roll forward and back to get even more pressure and relaxation on that hamstring. Good. All right. Now, some of us hold a lot of tension here in our hips, in our buttocks area, those rotator muscles that are in there all of these muscles in here are piriformis. They can get really, really tight. So if you're game for this and you have a cushion on your chair like I do, you can put it underneath here, right near your sit bone, but not actually on your sit bone. So slightly in front of your sit bone, and wiggle back and forth a little bit if you need to, okay? If you put it back behind your sit bone, it's better to do it if you're lying down. So I'm gonna show it to you this way. The ball is right here. It's not on the bone, it's in the muscle. And if I were to lie down, I would get a nice pressure against those muscles. And you can do it on both sides. So again, either in front of the muscle, uh, uh, sorry, of the sit bone. So that would be here, sit bone is here, ball is here. This is toward the top of your hamstring where it inserts into the sit bone. And you can sit on that. Or if you're lying down above that in the belly of this muscle, and you're lying down with the ball underneath there. One thing that is really important is not to put the ball on bone, but always to put it in the fleshy part of the muscle. If it's too painful and you have a knot, then work around the knot. So put it in a place where it's not painful and then slowly work around that area until you come to the place where it's less painful and you can put it on the knot. But remember, do not put the ball on bone, okay? Now, I know we have all seen putting the ball underneath your foot. I'm not gonna make you take your shoes off today, but that's always a good one, to take your shoes off with your socks and roll back and forth with the ball underneath your feet. So don't forget that one. What I am going to show you today is what we can do in the chair with the ball or with this one. Now, some of you have seen me do this in class. So we can take the ball here and put it like in between our shoulder blades and wiggle back and forth. Press against the ball Allow your shoulders and arms to just hang and wiggle back and forth. That's nice and soft. 
All right, you can also do it lower, lower, wiggle back and forth. If you have a chair where there's not an opening, that works pretty well. If you want to use your tennis ball, find a place on either side of your spine, but not on your spine, because that's bone, on either side. See where the ball is? So that is in the middle of my back, and I'm just going to lean back and let it press into that muscle. And breathe, make sure you're breathing. Breathing with these massage techniques really helps. And if you have a nice straight back chair, maybe with a little bit of a cushion that goes all the way down to the seat, you can put it up higher in the middle or even lower and switch sides. Either side of your spine, lean slightly back so you get some pressure on that muscle. Now do remember that you can also do this in bed. So again, <laughs> it's like that old joke, in bed at the end. <laughs> so um, you can put it here, here, or even up here while you're lying in bed and allow yourself to breathe and let the muscles fall into the bone on either side, but not, not into the actual spine. So we want the muscles to fall, I'm sorry, into the ball, not the bone. Muscles fall into the ball. But eventually it's going to feel like your bones are falling. Your bones are falling into the bed. That's what you want to imagine. So I hope that's been helpful today. This is a little bit more intense on your back. But if you're lying down, you'll want this and not this. If you're in a chair, this is a little bit more comfortable. So let's finish with some breathing. Make sure that we're in careful alignment. Knees lined up with toes and hip sockets, shoulders over pelvis, chin resting on the imaginary shelf. Hopefully your muscles are smiling and feeling happy. And let's breathe in for four counts through our nose and out for five counts through either nose or mouth, your choice. Ready to begin? Breathing in one, two, three, four. Breathing out one, two, three, four, five. Relax and breathe normally. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, relax them. Shoulders up, push back and down, wiggle your head. Big smile, turn the corners of your lips up, and good, thank you so much. Give yourself two pats on the back. I hope you enjoyed that today. And don't forget that this Sunday is our eighth annual birthday bash on Zoom. Look for the link. It's going to be coming to you uh, in an email. And thank you, Carla. And it's gonna be wonderful. We'll have some interactive exercise and movement for you to do, as well as uh, some beautiful presentations of past birthday bashes and some lovely classes, uh, sorry, lovely classes that we've done in the past. And we're going to uh, have people also sharing their feelings about power for Parkinson's and you'll get a whole idea of what to do from, you know, the beginning to the end. Okay. Uh, and what we have done as well. So I'm glad you enjoyed this. Um, 
my little treat for the end of February, uh, a late Valentine's gift. Please don't miss our birthday bash. It's going to be great. Going to be really great. So thank you, Sharon. I hope you had fun and keep joining us. Everybody should be back. Lauren will be on tomorrow, Maggie on Wednesday. Uh, I'll be there on Thursday at one. Debbie will be there at 11. Polly will be there Friday. Lauren has her young onset group on Saturday. And Sunday morning, we have Nadine. Thank you, Nadine, for being our host today. And Sunday afternoon, one o'clock central time is our fabulous birthday bash. I know that some of you have received some fun uh, things to wear and blow for our birthday bash, but I encourage all the rest of you to please wear your birthday hat, wear your, your birthday beads, okay? Wear your birthday suit. But do not wear your birthday suit, okay? <laughs> do not do that, okay? Yes, some, some of us got goodie bags. Yes, thank you, Steve. So if you got a goodie bag, you know what I'm talking about, but please do wear hats. You can wear flowers, you can wear beads, you can uh, blow and bring noise makers. So thank you, Dan. And, uh, and, and bring your friends, bring your relatives, bring something great to drink. We're gonna have a great time. It's a party, it's a party. So. Good, Robert, I'm glad, I'm glad. So, so I hope everybody's good. Please stay well, stay safe. No more power outages, no more days without heat, no more days without water. Um, we're gonna make it through. So yes, yes, thank you, uh, Eugene. It's really great to have these massage tips. I've been doing this for years and I've learned quite a lot from a lot of different teachers. So they're very helpful. All right, I'm gonna let you go and I'll see some of you on Thursday and I hope I'll see all of you on Sunday. On Sunday, one o'clock, birthday bash, power for Parkinson's, don't miss it. One o'clock central time on Zoom, look for the link. Thank you so much, take care, love you all. Bye.